guys. So, hey, everybody, we're here at Creation 2020, and we're going to take a look at the new Caterpillar crease, which is going to be awesome for scoring your papers. And what is so amazing about it? Let's find out. Okay, so this is our, our latest um, paper crafting tool at Caterpillar. Uh, we're at Creativation at the, at the very end here. Uh, we, if you've all tried our trimmers, um, you know that we are innovators and we like to create products that make paper crafters happy. And uh, we think we've done that with, with our newest tool, which is called the Caterpillar Crease. And it is a scoring tool. And we, we looked at all of the scoring tools out there and we said, how can we make it better? That's right. a job of someone making a tool for, for, for paper crafters. And so let's look at what's wrong with some of the others. I have a competitor, I won't say her name. She did go to jail for a few years, let's just say that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is her Not bone folder. <laughs> and, um, and we all have experienced this um, when you are, want to go score your card or whatever, or your envelope, or, and we, you press too hard, and what happens? It almost tears your paper. It almost tears your paper, but you, you at the very least get this really ugly edge. Right. Even if you fold it both directions, you get this really... And there's a couple reasons for that. Pressing too hard, going with the grain versus against the grain, but we have solved that problem. The first way we did it, and, and, and I'll give credit where credit's due, there are other, other boards that figured this out before we did, and that's using uh, this, the, the little... Um, uh, ball stylus. Ball stylus. And that really helps, but it doesn't solve all the problems. So it's a lot less likely you're going to pierce the paper with the ball styles. But if you're using cardstock that's a little bit dry, or if it's a little bit on the cheaper side, you're still going to get um, some ugly folding marks because there's no way around it. Because we 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 looked at this at a microscopic level. Mm -hmm. When you score this way, you're actually displacing the fiber, which means you're pushing it out of the way. So this channel here is always going to be thinner and it's going to be ugly. So we went to professional printers and asked them how they scored their you know, wedding announcements, etc. Okay. And they have this $100,000 machine, which this is called a scoring rule here. Yeah. And it does it just the opposite of as the way consumer products work. They put paper over a channel and they uh, over the scoring rule, and there's a channel here okay. yeah. that goes over it. And this is different. It doesn't displace the fiber. It actually molds the fiber. Oh. So it pushes it in, into a mold, and it almost is imp it is really impossible to overscore. And you get these beautiful scores. Oh, wow. You never cut through. Uh, you can fold both directions if you want. You get a nice square fold, a uh, square if you do this way. You get so you get more of a traditional one if you want to flatten it. Um, it's it's just foolproof. If you put one on top of the light board, you can see here that the positive lines are painted, but the negative lines aren't, which means that if you put it on our, one of our glows, it shines up through your cardstock on the negative lines, and you can start scores in the middle of the paper. Oh, that's cool. As you can see there. Very and then when you're done, you put all of your tools, all your tools back away. into the little thing, and this is available now. So thanks so much for stopping by and checking out the new Caterpillar Crease. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye, everybody.